Yesterday was amazing. I can't describe how I felt when I saw the bisons for the first time. I mean, we spent the whole day photographing them and just observing them and it was incredible. Now we have a few days left and we didn't really know what to do, so we'll just go around see what we can find, but we have one main goal, and that is to find the razor bills and photograph them. Let's go. So this is where we will stay for tonight, just a pretty small room but there's, there's two beds and hence this is where we will charge up all our batteries for the next days and yeah just our food and the sink. And it's a very tiny room but I mean it's just for one night so it's gonna be cool. We have just found them. I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite windy. It's total different weather from yesterday. Yesterday with the bisons were sunny and today it's just rainy and it's windy. But uh, we just found the, the Wazer Bills and they are, we are at this cliff here, as you can see. And they're just, just down there. And uh, Emil is sitting down there and photographing them and I will head down to him and then just spend some time with the racer bills. It's actually quite funny that we are here because the, f the main goal or the main reason we got here to Bonholm on this expedition, like little expedition, was to photograph the wild European bison here on Bonholm. But uh, this morning it has been raining and the condition has been almost like terrifying. The wind has been blowing and we just sat in the car and decided that hmm, maybe we should try to go north because we have seen that there should be some razor bills here and the cliffs. And so we decided to do that and we drove for like a small hour and then we hiked for, I don't know, two hours. And then just suddenly out of nowhere we just saw them on the cliffs and we climbed down and here we are photographing these amazing birds for the first time. Emil is sitting over there photographing some of them and I'm here and for both of us it's the first time seeing this animal and this bird is crazy. It's totally like a penguin who can fly. They, they look like a penguin, they are black and white and also like the shapes of the head is almost like a small penguin because of course it is smaller but it looks like and it will also out there in the ocean they are swimming around but they're not that good swimmers and that's the difference, the main difference between the penguin and, and this racer build because the racer builds here they are diving and they are swimming in the ocean but not for that long they would rather fly and stay on the cliffs where the penguins cannot fly and are always in the water and fishing and I mean at the moment they are very active they're just flying around everywhere and 
just see. We hope that they might go on a fish, but it's they have their eggs and they're protecting their eggs, but they're just chilling, relaxing. I don't think they will go on and fish in these conditions. was all for this video i hope you enjoyed it because it has been an amazing day i mean we have seen so much wildlife that i couldn't have dreamed about but also just this whole trip this whole like little expedition here to bonholm was incredible our main goal was the wild bison and we got it so early and then we have seen today the ways of bills spending a lot of time with them photographing them as you have seen but actually also yesterday uh, at the evening, Emil and I went down to the beach and to the cliffs, almost the same spot as where we were photographing the razor bills and we saw uh, some red-breasted mergansers and they actually got pretty close. They were flying straight towards us and then just swimmed around and doing like the males tried to impress the ladies and it was actually quite fun just lay there and photographing them and having an awesome time. But also today I saw my first fallow deer and you'll probably think wow you haven't seen a fallow deer before but where I live in Denmark there's almost like none of them so I have been photographing them and it was crazy for me because they are so beautiful. Um, after the rains, uh, the rain stopped we decided that we would go and find a place to sleep <laughs> and tomorrow we have to get up really early to catch the pharaoh back home so we actually decided that we will sleep in our car. So, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, and we will see how it goes. But uh, it's quite cozy, and we will have a good time. Thank you for watching, and thank you to you, Emil. I'm thanking you for coming with me. <laughs> it has been a pleasure, and I hope you will see you next time. Thank you for now. Bye. <laughs>